Tonight, I'm interviewing Tom from AMSAT. He's going to be going over what he does for a satellite contact. Then he's going to give us a demonstration of a linear satellite pass and also an FM satellite pass. A tank radio! So play that awesome intro video! A quick shout out to all my Patreons who make the show possible. You can support me by joining Patreon in the link below. And on to Tank Radio! So I'm with Tom. Are you part of any group association or are you just doing this for the fun? Um, just out here for the fun. I uh, was out there in the parking lot yesterday. Yeah. AWRL sent a request for me to do the demo to entice people, you know, certain parts of radio and all that kind of stuff. Awesome. So, so, so. What, so you're doing satellite passes and yeah. showing how to do a satellite pass. You just completed one and one yesterday. Yesterday's was a linear satellite. Mm -hmm. And, and what, what is a linear satellite? Linear uh, uh, encompasses using sideband. So uh, with the linear uh, transponder that's on there, it has a certain amount of band space. So it allows you to have more than one QSO on the pass uh, versus FM, which is single channel. Uh -huh. And you only have one, well, one, 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 one QSO, you know, at a time. At a time. That's, that's pretty cool. And yeah. uh, what, what is your setup right here? Uh, the setup I got right here is uh, ICOM 910. Uh, with some DJ headphones, mm -hmm. and I got a lifting battery with a 100 watt uh, solar panel, and uh, uh, the battery is a 16 amp hour, so it's more than enough juice to uh, handle that power carbon for the uh, 910. So this is a older IC, uh, you said a one nine ten. Yeah. And uh, why did you choose this particular radio? It's, it, was, it was in my price range. Okay. Uh, some people can't afford that. That's a good reason. <laughs> You know, everybody can't afford uh, 9700, so it's feasible enough to uh, get things done out there. Well, uh, with this particular radio, what I saw and I, th I was thinking that you might go into, you have two antenna ports on the back. You have a transmit and receive on both of them, or it's no, just no, one's uh, one for each band. One for each band. Yeah, because it's a full duplex radio, mm -hmm. so that way you can uh, be able to transmit and simultaneously receive at the same time. That's the whole purpose of uh, full duplex wing work satellite. Mm -hmm. So that way you can hear yourself and don't interfere with somebody else. Oh, that's that's yeah. pretty good. As, um, I've been trying. I've been trying. You heard gonna, my woes already. We're going to get you there. Um, <laughs> I've been using an HT uh -huh. with an Arrow 2. It's a great antenna, and it has a built-in duplexer, mm -hmm. um, but only 5 watts. Yeah. And I can hear the satellites. I can hear the satellites pretty regularly yeah. when I try. It's just I don't have the comebacks. Mm -hmm. um, I finally got a, an uh, email the other day saying, hey, I heard you in there. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. That, that's one part down. But do you have any tips and tricks for if anyone else is trying to struggle and get that Q, first QSO? We don't have a healthy constellation of satellites right now. Mm -hmm. um, I highly recommend uh, working some of the weekday passes on FM birds. Yeah. Uh, weekend, as you heard, it's a little chaotic. Oh, yeah. I tried, <laughs> last try I did was winter field day. You yeah. figured how chaotic that is. Yeah. I highly recommend for anybody that's new coming to Satellite uh, work some of the weekday passes if, if you can. They're less crowded and there's a lot more room where you can uh, be able to use a full duplex handy talk and work some of those passes mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. uh, AO 91 is a good one. Uh, whenever uh, AO 92 is on, you have to check the AMSAT uh, status page uh, when it's on. Also, uh, SO 50, that's another good one. PO 101 is, is a little bit of a stretch to work that. Uh, if you've got a good high angle pass, and uh, it's in range, that's a pretty good one to work too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it uses a different tone. The standard tone is six, seven hertz, but uh, PO 101 uses 141.3 hertz. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, any, anything you want to plug? Are you, are any groups you're with or? Uh, the main ones I'm with is AMSAT and uh, AWRL. Cool. So I'm, 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 I'm totally mainstream. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Oh, no problem. And um, hopefully you'll hear me on one of these things one day. I hope so, too. Yeah, yeah me yeah, too. Catch me out on the road, too, because I do roves, too. Yes, I do need to do that. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. Yeah. All right, thank you.
Extra 4, Alpha Quebec Fox, Yankees Extra 7, Papa Mike Golf from November 8, Romeo Oscar. Hotel Papa 2, Big Butter Cry. 204 AQF, KB5 FHK, Ham Cajun. KB5 FHK, KO4 AQF, QSL. Roger, Roger. Park Golf Lima. K4 ATF from the Ham Cajun. Alright, Fox Mike, 05, Kilo Golf 4, Alpha Kilo Victor. AC Power, AKV, Whiskey 8, Mike Tango, Bronco. K4 DCA, KB5, FHA, QSL from Ham Cajun. 73, Tom. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. You can support me on Patreon. There is a link in the description below. And to all my tankers out there, go forth and conquer.